welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of the Gong Legacy Let's Play series. Reina has just come home from her final, final, final exam. It's her last day of class and it is her last ever semester. As usual, she is struggling with laundry and all that. Boss Tom was just at her door asking if she wants to go and work out and stuff. She's literally out of school now. So I wonder what she wants to do. She is a little bit hungry though. I think I'm going to get her to get an acai bowl. She's been listening to New Age the entire day. I think she still, yeah, she still has it in her ears, but I kind of want her to stop listening to it now. So let's get her to turn that off. She probably wore it into the <laughs> exam hall as well, which is kind of funny. Uh, but because she was feeling really stressed out about the ex- Oh, dad's calling the chat? <gasps> That's probably like, how did your last exam go? Congratulations on finishing school, that kind of stuff. Oh, Dad knows! That's so cool! We're going to say hi to Dad. And then once we're done, our job is going to be at the Willow Creek Hospital actually. I'm not sure if I want to move her to Willow Creek, but maybe she can start thinking or planning in advance like where she might want to move to because she's probably not going to stay here any longer now that she's um, almost done with school. So. Maybe we'll go around Willow Creek to see if there's any place that she might want to rent or buy. So I'm not sure where we're going to go per se. Our grandma lives here. I don't think she's going to move into the same neighborhood as her grandmother. Like they're not that close. <laughs> and um, this is a little bit too expensive of a neighborhood for her. Why is my game so laggy? Hold on. We could have her move into this neighborhood over here which is probably the most logical. And we could come here and see if we like the environment. So maybe we'll just come over to this empty lot over here and then um, we'll see how it goes. Inni, should we get Inni to come with us? Or maybe we should get our parents to come with Do you know what? Oh my god, also, if you guys haven't watched Dan Hong and Wei Xiang's love story, it is up right now. I'm really proud of the video and I can't wait for you to watch it if you have not already. I'm going to link it on the screen right here right now and also put it in the description box so you have easy access to the link. But yeah, I'm very very proud of what I did with that and I feel like their love story is amazing so you'll be missing out if you don't watch it. <laughs> but yeah, let's go with our parents. Let's go look around. Oh no, it's raining. But I have cheated the rain away because I'm not about to deal with the rain right now <laughs> to be honest. Okay, it has finally stopped raining and um, this is the little neighborhood. I mean, this is literally the base game neighborhood so there's nothing much to see <laughs> to be honest but if we just pretend that Reina and her parents are just... I, I really hate how her mom walks. I wish she would walk normally. Uh, but yeah, if we look around the area to see if Reina would like, like to live here... I don't know. They're just taking a look around to see if this is like the right neighborhood for Reina. Honestly, I feel like the current sentiment for this neighborhood for these people who are oh my god mom you walk so slow because you walk like that i don't even think i can change it yeah i honestly don't think we can so you know what whatever she's going to take a time but yeah as i was saying i think the current consensus is that this neighborhood for these rich people because they are rich after all is that it's a little bit too suburban they're worried about the security of the place maybe a little bit. It doesn't seem like the worst neighborhood as well. It's just a very very simple regular neighborhood. Um, I don't know why dad's angry right now though. That's kind of weird. There is also a little community garden here. For Reina maybe this might be one of the more standout attractions of this neighborhood. The fact that there's a community garden here for her to you know work on gardening and stuff. I imagine she would want to come here and contribute her gardening skills and maybe even do yoga here. I think she might actually like that very much. So she's considering, she's like, I'm not sure if dad's even in the right mood to talk. Ren, why are you so angry? Can we like talk to our dad a little bit and ask? Deep conversation, discuss world peace, does it make you happy? I wonder if he has like emotion bomb or something because he's also kind of like famous as well. Try to calm down, yeah, let's try to calm him down. Please don't get a stroke, it's very hot right now. Is he less angry now? No, I think Rena failed. But oh no, they lost some. Why? Why? Complaints? No, 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 no. Um, try to cheer up family member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try to hug dad as well. Yeah, I don't know what's... Oh, my MX was off. I was like, why is everything so bright? Okay, there we go. It makes more sense now. <laughs> 
No, he is still so upset. Wait, is he upset at us? Or is it just that he's upset? I'm so confused and I, there's no way for me to find out. Dad, we're here to look at my future home for like the next couple of years. You said you were going to support us and why are you, what are you angry at right now? I honestly don't think that he's angry at us. Honestly, like we've done nothing to incite his anger. So it's definitely some weird sim thing. But anyways, um, with that said though, this neighborhood probably isn't it for Reyna. And I think they might even say that it's quite very near to like the train tracks and the industrial-ish areas and they're not really a big fan of that. Honestly, I don't think Reyna's parents are that big of a fan of like this kind of suburban lifestyle. They do live in the city as well and they are also really, really, really well to do. So they are definitely a little bit snobby as well, you know? So I think we're gonna move to another world, another neighborhood and we'll see how it goes. Okay, now we're in Copperdale. Similarly, it's raining and similarly, I'm cheating it away. This time around, I did just partially cloudy. I just really want Reyna to be able to really look at the place here. So basically, they caught wind that Kayla Fleming over here, who is also famous, um, so we'll probably just attempt introduction. Although, we really just want to talk to Kayla about... Um, <laughs> about her house which she's selling i think she has reached another level of fame and she's like i don't really want to live here anymore i'm selling this property you know that kind of stuff oh honestly dad are you actually angry at us or what like do you have something against us i'm very confused right now dad you're giving me very mixed signals and i would like to see there's no sentiments or anything so what even is wrong with you <laughs> Why is he scolding his daughter? Don't take it out on me, it's not my fault. You literally just called us to congratulate us for completing school, so what is happening here? <gasps> Xue Ting is calling guys. Xue Ting, no! Xue Ting did not listen to us at all. She did not consider our warning. <laughs> But she thought that everything was okay with us now that um, days have passed, maybe even weeks since our confrontation with her. And so she's calling to say, So I found a ring in Guan Ying's bag. I think he's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes? No? Nga? Xue Ting, for one, you don't know who the ring is for. <laughs> like, we really don't. We really cannot confirm for you that that ring is for you. It might be a ring from another person. Who knows? Don't do it. <laughs> And then she's gonna be like, you think so? I wasn't sure, but you're right. I guess it just wasn't written in the stars. She probably wouldn't say this. Honestly, if I were to edit this, I would... She would be like, you don't know what you're talking about. Honestly, I prefer to think that Jia Ting literally said, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> And uh, we won't know what's gonna happen between them still because Xue Ting obviously did not take any of our advice at all which is annoying. Also, I just realized that he's inspired- um, well, like our dad was inspired but he was still like screaming at us which is so awkward and so weird. But he's inspired now and he's mm, smiling again. So hopefully that means that our dad is not upset at whatever it is. Um, but yeah, so back to the main topic at hand. This is the house that is being sold right now and we're looking at it. I think that's probably thinking, that and Reyna both, they're thinking that if we're going to be buying this place, we're tearing it down and rebuilding everything again. Or rather like renovating at least. We're definitely doing some sort of renovation here. So I think it really depends on how much this is going to go for and um, how much they're going to put into the renovation slash rebuild building of this lot. I'm pretty sure Reyna's parents do dabble a little bit in like property and stuff like that because they're rich and stuff so they probably have a hand in that. So money's not an issue and I think now that Reyna is thinking about her first home away from home, she is probably going to think about repaying her parents and actually just more or less taking a loan from her parents and then repaying it in increments so that it ultimately becomes something that she owns and she's worked for. But at least for now, no matter what lot she goes for, she will have to depend on her parents a little bit to get a kickstart, you know? And she's lucky like that because she gets to. So I'm gonna get them to walk around the area a little bit to see what's around the area. So we do have like this huge park thing right in front of our home. It is definitely a very good idea to come here and do some yoga. I think it's gonna be very peaceful. I think Rina is already looking at this area. Maybe she can do like some nice peaceful yoga here or something. There's a nice pond to reflect on. It's beautiful 
beautiful. I think Rina is really just thinking about how like it's very nice. And then this is her other neighbor over here. So she will have neighbors. There's like a weird graveyard here. So uh, that's like one of the things that I don't think really thrills Ren Wu and Reina. The fact that there's a graveyard so close by, it feels a little bit like bad vibes. But they are like kind of separated far enough that it doesn't really matter as much. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more but there's also like the whole sea area here that's gonna be very beautiful for Reina whenever she wakes up in the morning and um, decides to hang out here. This is a beautiful view. She definitely likes this better than what she saw at Willow Creek for sure. She also noted that there's a lot of amenities around like the grocery store, other like pubs and whatnot. I mean, obviously these are all fake, <laughs> but if we're going to pretend, then it's not fake. Also, there's a food store here. I've never known that. Ooh, what did they sell? Order drink. Apple spice nog? What? Let's go get Rina to try a apple spice nog. Wait, we get seasonal drinks here? That's so cool. Uh, wait, there's another building here. Oh my god, I did not know that there's another lot here. I think Reina is going to walk over and then realize that there's another lot here. But I think like the moment she sees this and she's like, oh, interesting that we have like one more like more tucked away, a little bit further away from like the main area. And then her dad's gonna come over and then he's gonna be like, you know, it's like a little bit weird and a little bit far away. And there's like that weird tank behind. I honestly don't think you can edit. Yeah, you can't edit the tank. So it's like, it's kind of sus basically. Like there is a abandoned trailer here. It feels a little bit more unsafe around this area. Like you're so exposed to the wild, like the wilderness, like the forests and stuff like that. I think Renu is going to try his best to talk Reina out of this lot but it wouldn't take too much convincing. So oh oh my god i'm so proud of my girl it's straight a pluses i didn't even notice that it was six. Oh, that's so nice yay it is graduation time graduation tomorrow it's been quite a journey reina's graduation ceremony from foxbury institute is tomorrow time to celebrate if we check our calendar for tomorrow it is going to start at 10 22 so that's gonna be our graduation i'm so excited oh my goodness i wonder if she likes her little apple spice tea or whatever she's drinking i forgot instantly what she's drinking she hasn't told us how she feels about it yet. I guess here is where Ren Wu is talking to her about the lots here and how he feels about it. Pros of this place is it's close to amenities like the boba shop. Um, the library I think is around here as well. Wait, is that the library? Oh, that might be the library. Oh, and that's where the um, Bowden stay or rather like, you know, the principal, the May people stay. <laughs> um, Bowden, they might say Fowler right now, but May Griffin. Yeah, but that family stays there. This is the library. I got it so wrong. I don't really think Reina is much of a reader. Like, she likes reading, but not that much. You know, she's not like a bookworm or anything. She's not really like into like sugary drinks, nor into thrift shop fashion as well. She's way too up there for that, <laughs> but it's not too bad. It is like a nice, quiet neighborhood to live in if she so chooses to stay here. And um, I think her parents are going to be a lot more relieved if she is going to be staying on this lot rather than the one that is like closer to the wilderness in a sense. Um, and I'm thinking that Reina probably likes this tea quite a bit <laughs> if she finally tells me how she feels about it. Caffeine- oh it's coffee? I got her coffee? I didn't even know. Which also means that we will have enough energy to go and view one more property even though it's a little bit darker now so we're not sure if it's going to be a good vibe but we're gonna go try another area and see if we like it or not. We're actually back in Evergreen Harbor. This place is on the other neighborhood on the left side of the map rather than the right side where Reina stays. So it's very far away from what she knows and it is a little bit dirty as we can see. Like um, there's definitely some cleaning that has to be done in this neighborhood. This is one of the houses on sale. I don't know if I addressed it earlier but Hui Ting actually left to go to work I think so she wasn't available for a couple of hours while we were in Copperdale, um, so only dad came with us. And then now that it's after work hours, Ini also has time to pop by and give his two cents and be there while his girlfriend finds like a new home. Let's get 
Reina to go and knock on the door, maybe meet the person inside this house. I think Reina's just giving this house like a once over and um, we're definitely thinking like, this house is not too bad. Let's do a cheerful introduction to the tenant as well. Tenant slash seller, I guess, the seller of the house. And we're gonna be like, oh, this house is not too bad. It is pretty big for what it... I mean, like, it's a huge plot of land. It is in Evergreen Harbor. I like how... <laughs> Mom's like, okay, I want to check out the upstairs. We're gonna do a deep conversation. We're gonna talk about this build a little bit more. Her reasons for selling. Maybe she went through a divorce because I noticed that this is actually like a four bedroom house. Yeah, four bedroom house and five room actually. There's like a study over here as well. So perhaps she lost her kids in the custody battle and she's alone right now. Reina's probably like, okay, so she's gonna walk around this house a little bit. Maybe we can all walk over together and just check out the kitchen um miss takagi over here is probably going to be saying like this is my kitchen everything is definitely a little bit more dated you will have to do some renovations if you are to move in here but everything else is in pretty much working order you don't really have to gut the house or anything this house is not that old i bought this like a couple of years ago when the kids were growing up so we just we're on a budget so we couldn't like do like the most amazing renovation ever i think she's saying like most of the toilet fixings and stuff were torn out but we didn't really take out the carpet because it was in quite good condition when we moved in and all that. Reina's coming out here to see the view. I kind of want to see the view too and see what it's like. It's like a very peaceful stretch. It is definitely a little bit dirty on the street. There's graffiti everywhere too so that's like kind of a little bit like uh, it's not the best vibe but uh, I think Reina's argument to her parents who might be expressing a little bit of worry about this place is that if she knows anything about Evergreen Harbor and its governance is that if the residents want something done, the governing body of Evergreen Harbor actually gets it done really fast so she's pretty sure that she will be able to write in and make them understand that she wants this street cleaned. <laughs> through NAP but you know <laughs> so it's definitely okay they're definitely thinking about how this is on a bigger side of like all of the houses that we've seen and Rina's going to be living here alone as far as we know these two are not going to move in together yet Ini needs to be close to his work and Rina needs to be close to hers and um, while they are still dating they're not to that point yet so they're not like going to move in together and start a new life together kind of stuff so they're still gonna be living separately and just dating they've only realistically been together for uh, i want to say between six to eight months at most so it's definitely not long enough for them to be like oh do you want to move in like especially with like both of their parents being like so super like chinese like in Chinese culture is like not really a thing. So yeah, basically Reina is just thinking about everything and everyone has seen like what she's seen, especially dad who has been with her the entire day. So we're going to leave now and get out of Yuka's hair. I think this is like the top contender at this point because Reina is already used to like living in Evergreen Harbor. We did say that we're going to move closer to work and stuff, but I think closer to work would mean Willow Creek as well. I'm going to actually get her to go home by the way. Okay, we're home. I got cut off, <laughs> but Reina's back now. I actually did intend on getting Ini to walk her back home, but I think, you know what, it's fine. It's a little bit late and she has like graduation to go to tomorrow, even though Xue Ting is currently playing really loud music next door. But hopefully we won't have to go over and ask her to shut up. <laughs> hopefully she will pipe down by the time we want to go to sleep. But yeah, let's go dry our laundry. And then we're going to get something to eat. Do we have leftovers? Yeah, we do. I think we do still have some bibimbap left, so we're going to get that into our tummies before we go to sleep and then we're gonna think about like our options. I think there might be a couple more lots that we can go see if we are really very unsure. I think Reina is definitely not gonna move to Willow Creek even though it's very very close to her workplace because she didn't like the vibe of the area there. I think she really enjoys her time in Evergreen Harbor but um, realistically speaking maybe like her lease for this apartment is expiring soon and she's thinking of like moving somewhere else, somewhere new so she's going to move away no matter what. So since she thought about moving closer and it didn't seem like 
it ended up being like the best idea for her. She's thinking of maybe staying within Evergreen Harbor and just um, moving to like another place maybe. And perhaps this time she would go for something a little bit bigger than just an apartment because she's been in apartments most of her life. So perhaps she's like, you know what, I want to try living in a landed, being closer to nature, having more of a garden space and like a backyard to do my yoga in instead of like a room like this. And I'm thinking of also maybe adopting a pet or something. I don't know, she's like having all these like thoughts about the future and stuff. And I think so far it's between Copperdale and staying within Evergreen Harbor, but move to a different neighborhood to experience like a different life in a sense. And also there is probably no landed around her area that's like selling at the moment that she likes anyways. So that's also that as well. I think she's thinking if she wakes up tomorrow and she still feels a little bit like undecided, maybe she will like go herself to like another area, check out another listing to see if she likes that place better or worse and then maybe she'll be able to come to a conclusion so yeah that's the kind of idea that she has that's the decision that she's made as she does yoga before she goes to bed um she's definitely really tired when she started but honestly she likes yoga so much it oh i think she fell asleep <laughs> so funny you can just go to sleep right now <laughs> anyways i'll see you tomorrow in the morning when she wakes up and we are here and Reina is in her graduation gown and what are those? She's still wearing her bedroom slippers. Honestly, vibes. Also, are you sweating from yoga? I think she's still sweaty from- oh my god, you're um, graduating looking like that. <laughs> Honestly guys, I have no words but uh, well, she's graduating. <laughs> I should have gotten her to go take a shower but she did sleep in a lot because she went to sleep so late. But yeah, here she is. Um, a couple of her fellow graduates are here as well. None of our friends are graduating today that much I know. Reina is the first one to graduate because she took two um, very intense semesters in order to do so. I kind of want to invite our parents over even though you're not gonna be actually able to have them go into the auditorium with you but i think it's quite nice to have your family here to support you i think Ini is going to also come over Ray Sam would like to come but Ray Sam is busy with work like he might have a work meeting or something where's everybody here they're still on their way over i think they will reach there once reina comes out from the ceremony so maybe we'll get reina to just go attend the graduation one more photo before she she throws her hat away. This is about as good as I get. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so is her family and boyfriend still making their slow, slow way over? Yeah, Ren Wu is walking, I mean like running. Oh, they're actually all sort of jogging over to wait for Reina. So hopefully they do stay here while Reina is in the graduation hall. Do not leave! Don't leave! Go here! Inni, where are you going? I knew this is not gonna work out, but I tried, okay? Oh, oh, oh! I caught it! Oh my goodness! Look at her, she's so happy! Aww! She's still so sweaty, it's so funny. But yeah, congratulations Reina! Just like, ah, I'm done with school, I can get life started now. Okay, we're gonna give our mom a hug. Aww, I think mom's like, oh, supportive? Yes! Yes it is, mom and Reina are supportive. I love that. Let's go talk to dad as well, let's give dad a loving hug too Aww, so nice it's time for Inni to congratulate Reina as well Reina is like super happy that Inni is here for her graduation too I imagine I would be happy too when my boyfriend's here so mom's just watching them <laughs> like oh my daughter found love I'm so happy for her and they're gonna share a little kiss too Oh, that's, a, that's more than a little kiss, but anyways, I feel like everyone should go out for like lunch or something. But I do want to take some photos of this event because it's like a very big thing in Reina's life. <laughs> so I'll just be back in a couple of seconds. Alright, we're here. We'll go through the pictures when we get home. But for now, everyone's kind of hungry, so I'm gonna get everybody to sit down and have a meal together. Ray Seung managed to come after his meeting, so he's here right now. This is definitely a very beautiful place to have like our graduation lunch. I like that it's like at Pepper's Pub only, so it's literally just in Bridgechester. We've been here before with Kai Feng and 
Jiming and Zheng Jie. So I'm just gonna get everybody to get something to eat and drink. Everyone's gonna get something <laughs> alcoholic, I think, just to celebrate Reina's graduation. And um, let's see, Wreck of Lamb. Ooh, Wreck of Lamb sounds so good. I think Inny can have the Wreck of Lamb. I'm gonna get everybody different things. Leek potato soup sounds so good too. My goodness. Help me. <laughs> I'm so hungry now. Chorizo tacos for Reina today, perhaps. And maybe that can go for maybe fried chicken slider. I don't know. <laughs> I hope this meal turns out better than the last meal we tried to have with Ini um, at Oasis Springs because that was a failure. And I am. Um, oh! Dad's ordering. Yay! Do you think Dad's buying this meal? I think I'm gonna pretend that Dad's buying this meal because it's gonna be kind of fun. <laughs> what is happening? Why is our brother making so much jokes and making us <laughs> react in all sorts of different ways. Wait, our order's here? <gasps> Wait, is it because like there's not enough space to put our order down or, or what? Like, is it because like it's too full? We only got our drinks. Reina doesn't even have a drink. Um, I can't believe that Reina's not eating anything. What is this luck? Honestly. A uh, romance festival is in town. Maybe we can go and ask the guru about our love life. <laughs> and also while we're talking, I'm gonna just cheat Reina's hunger and pretend that she's eaten because it's not my fault that they don't know how to place food down on the table. But I like the vibes here so I'm not gonna be complaining too much. And they are seated down and they got their food. Most of them eat it so it's good so far. <laughs> It's almost like 6 p.m. So I think we're going to end meal and pay bill and then I'm gonna give us back that 95 simoleons. Not that it matters much anymore because I think our parents are going to loan us even more money because we will have to start our new life somewhere else soon. I don't think I'm gonna get Reina to get into her career right away. She's gonna take a couple of days off just to enjoy life. <laughs> Maybe take a sort of gap I want to say week. Like maybe we should take a week off just to gather her bearings, move to a new place, that kind of stuff, get everything settled, and then get into her job. I think that's going to be her plan. But for now, I think we're going to go travel to the romance festival with In Yi and do like a little mini date of sorts. Actually, you know what? I have a better idea. I'm going to bring Tan Hong and Ray Sam with us. So we'll make it a double date and then we'll go to the romance festival together. <laughs> Okie dokie, we just reached the romance festival and when we were about to pick our phone up to invite Dan Hong over, Xiao Yu actually called us to say, hey, I met this person online and they want to meet me at the romance festival. Will you come with me in case they turn out to be a crazy person? We're going to literally say, okay, bring some friends along and then we're going to say, In Yi, Dan Hong, Rei Xiang are coming as well. And uh, yeah. <laughs> and we're here. <laughs> what I want to do is to make a beeline over here and have everybody pour sakura tea together. Oh, my mom's here too. Also, I have my eyes on uh, the harvestables here. I know we can get like dragon fruit and stuff, so I'm gonna just harvest everything around here and so get Reina to collect some various plants that she might want to plant in her own garden when she ultimately settles on a house, you know? <gasps> oh my god, I have never seen a male guru before. That's actually pretty cool. The guru that I've always seen has been like female. Pretty cool that we have a male one. Request romance guru's wisdom. Love is the fountain of eternal youth from which we all can drink from. Okay, that's pretty cool. We're gonna steamy kiss Inni from that. Oh, because we're very, very, very flirty. Oh, Inni is coming up to us to steamy kiss us, I think. Ooh, it's getting scandalous so quickly. Right in front of the guru. I, I think we'll just show the guru our love and then uh, maybe we'll ask if he thinks our love will last. <laughs> ask Guru about current relationship. Oh, wait, are we doing another one? What's this? Is this a kiss? Are we just have sharing a moment? I mean, it's it's beautiful now. Oh my god, is that a forehead kiss? <gasps> I don't know what we're doing, but I like it. <laughs> okay, we're finally asking the Guru about our current relationship. Honestly, I don't know if we believe him at all. Like, I don't know if Reina is the type to really um, buy into this kind of stuff. Guys, they're just autonomously just kissing again and again. They're just super flirty. I see a back massage in your near future. <laughs> Dude doesn't want to tell us anything other than like the most certain thing. So he's basically telling us that our future is open-ended. Is that it? Like, he can't see past like next couple of hours because we're definitely going to get a back massage soon. Ray Sam, where's your girlfriend? 
Where's Tan Hong? She's over here talking to Xiao Yu. Maybe she's like making sure that Xiao Yu is not feeling neglected. We should probably go and meet people. These two are people, right? So maybe we'll uh, <laughs> get Rina to cheerful introduction, Ulrich. And then also Ria Gandhi over here, just because it's required of us. And we're doing this for Xiao Yu. So maybe like one of these people are like, who Xiao Yu? Oh no. What if the person that Xiao Yu is supposed to meet ghosted her? So Xiao Yu is actually here alone. She looks a little bit troubled. So perhaps she has been stood up, which is so sad. Oh, my dad's here too. Look at Rin Wu in his, um, I think this is romance festival merch. That's kind of fun. <laughs> I'm going to X out of this conversation and go back to finding our boyfriend who is... Where are you? Let's go here. Heat of the moment proposal. <laughs> Please do not. No. No, 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 no. It's too early for this. Declare heat of the moment passion. Yeah, I can do that. Heat of the moment pla pa passion? Passion? Um, what else can we do that is more like romance festival vibes? I don't know. Nothing much. We're already like super into each other. There's nothing here we really need to do. So uh, we'll just sweet talk. Inni, where are you going? Is he going to buy something like a merch? <laughs> I'm not really into like the whole romance festival merch thing though. But should we just buy one just in case? Buy swag. What kind of swag can we buy? I've never really tried this before. I'm definitely not sure if I want Reyna to be wearing this. And also I like how she's only wearing like a t-shirt and nothing else. Ooh, we have like sparklers and spinners. Romance festival limited edition ones. Maybe we'll do a spark fountain and also a sparkler to just play with. Maybe a bubble bottle as well. Let's just see what we can do with it. And then maybe let's buy the t-shirt but not wear it. I don't really want Reyna to wear the t-shirt. But I don't mind her collecting the t-shirt and she's never really bought any of these merch things anyways. What is this happening? Grab, grab and kiss? Oh my god, uncle behind is just like, woo, these youngsters nowadays. <laughs> wow, they're really sharing a moment. Okay, honestly, if Innie's not that tall, the mod will work perfectly and he's not going to be kissing um, Reyna's nose. But we're just going to pretend that their mouths are connecting, okay? Because I quite like the idea of Innie being a lot taller than Reyna. Now that we're done with the kiss, let's place in the world and light this spark fountain and hopefully it's not dud. Ooh! Oh, it's not the one that shoots into the sky. Everyone's enjoying this together. That's not too bad. Oh, Reyna's super happy that it happened. Oh my god, Dan Hong's father is right here. And Rei Xiang is sitting next to his future father-in-law. If they do end up getting married, of course. I don't know if he knows yet. I feel like the relationship might be a little bit too early right now for Rei Xiang to... Rei Xiang and Dan Hong to tell anyone at all. Like, I feel like Reyna alone knows about them right now. Since the two of them are still like just sitting here, maybe Dan Hong and Xiao Yu are now having a conversation about it as well. They're in romance festival, so maybe the topic came up. It's definitely getting a little bit late, so I want her to go home soon. So before we do anything else, I want her to play with the sparkler. I've never actually had my sim play with this before, but I've seen it happen in other people's let's play. So I got very, very curious about how it works. Oh my god, don't shove it into your dad's torso. Aww, dad and brother's having a hug. I need to take a photo of that. I wish I didn't have her standing in front of the toilet though because that's a little bit weird and sus. <laughs> And the pictures are not nice. Oh man, it's gone. She doesn't have any more. So I think we're going to go home as well and um, end this episode actually. So I'm gonna just end it here. Rina is just going to be making her way back home. We don't have to follow her because we already know what she does when she goes home. Tomorrow and also in the next episode, I think I'm gonna get Rina to go look at a few more lots and hopefully by the end of next episode, we will be able to settle on like a place for Rina to move into and she can get started with like her working life. And so with that, I'm going to say goodbye to you right now. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to this point. If you have, if you liked it, definitely remember to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to me if you have not already. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say. So take care guys. Goodbye.